you disrespect uh, a quality team like uh, Exeter, Exeter are, and you get uh, you get beat. And in the first half, they didn't uh, heed the warnings. They didn't listen to what we said. They didn't uh, heed uh, the problems they could cause us if we didn't play with intensity, if we didn't close them down, if we didn't track runners. And we got what we deserved. And over 90 minutes, uh, you know, they deserve to go through, and we don't. It's a shame, really, because 25 minutes in, we looked fairly comfortable. Would you would you agree with that? Reasonably comfortable, but you could see they they got too much time on the ball, too much composure. We weren't tracking forward runs, so even though we were one 0 up, you were always wary that uh, there was a black backlash coming, and and we just really didn't play with the intensity we normally do. As I say, it was too easy for uh, for Exeter. You know, you can't you can't play for the last ten minutes of uh, of the ninety and throw the kitchen sink at them and expect to go through in the cup. It doesn't work like that. It's a ninety minute game, and we weren't good enough on the day. So as I say, really disappointed. But uh, congratulations to Exeter; they deserved it on the day. I suppose at 3-1 in the second half, Exeter have got something to defend and hold on to. Managed to find a way through once, but not quite twice. No, you're clutching at straws. You know we're we're not here to make excuses. It wasn't good enough, as I say. The game lasted 95 minutes, and they deserve to go through, and we don't. So, what's the message to the players at full time? You expect a, a, a big response on Wednesday. There'll be changes because uh, that first half performance was totally unacceptable and people have obviously got complacent, think they're going to play every week but uh, there'll be changes, there'll be different personnel, there'll be people that need to wake up and uh, and improve and uh, we'll make sure they do. Is there any positives you can take from this one Paul? No, we're out of the cup so there's no positives whatsoever. Thank you very much. Ben? Um, Paul, uh, just before they scored the first goal or their first goal of the game, you had 60% possession at that point, you had a, a chance when they had a, a man down on the floor to go 2 nil up which Samuel or to go 1 nil up before the first goal which Samuel put over the bar so arguably at half half uh, half an hour in you, you could have been 2 nil up and, and flying yeah but we saw in the warm up there wasn't that there wasn't that real intensity you know in the boys and they weren't they didn't look sharp you know and we warned them before the game we you know we said to them even in you know in the dressing room before we went out you know don't be complacent you know these can play you know we Gaffer went and saw them up at uh, up at Bradford and they're a good side and they could have won that day 6-2 you know then we we showed them clips of uh, of them beating Colchester 6-1 and what a good good team they were what good players they've got out on the pitch and uh, we just seemed a little bit like you know lackluster we didn't seem as sharp as we could be because if we would have played like we did in the last 10 minutes then you know with that intensity and with that power and that pace you know and running forward and running back then uh, then we probably would have gone through but as I say I can't you know we can't make excuses they were better than us on the day uh, they had more composure with the ball and, and as I say you know what I'd be making excuses if I said anything different.